Welcome back, guys, to Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Well, last episode, after fully awakening Brianax, Zeta's Ascension Weapon, the Proud Quest had continued with some worm duos in a quest of fire and earth and a quest of frost and storm before we fought against Calamity Incarnate, Furricane Nahila. We then fought against a new variant in the form of the Radis White Worm, bringing it down as we now recruit another crewmate. All right, then. With the White Worm defeated... It's time for another crewmate. So, I think we'll go for another fiery friend first of all and leave what seems to be the most popular character in this game to last. Gandagoza, founder of the Eternal Rage style. He has accomplished many legendary feats with his furious fists. Ah, let us venture forth. This is one of the least popular characters. <laughs> Yotar is in that list. <laughs> We've got a new trophy knuckle sandwich. Did I know? Oh, I better save. Just in case anything bad happens. Let's start off your fate episode, shall we? Like I fight a gigantic dragon and get cooked. This legendary founder of the Eternal Rage style believes in two things, his fists. That's how he makes the impossible possible. Though he has come far in his ascetic training, he continues his journey to one day knock out the god of creation with a single punch. Eternal Rage indeed. I trusted only my fists. If you wish to reach transcendence, you must beat out the path with your own knuckles. Which is why, when my fists began to tremble in anticipation, I listened. It was as if they whispered, A terrible future awaits these skies. Fail to act. An unprecedented calamity will befall you. How could they know? In truth, they knew more than most scholars, having experienced the rigors of fundamental aesthetic practice. I tempered them relentlessly until they could foretell which timeline would lead them to the most strength. But you may ask, how far can one go with omnipotent fists? A foolish question. Only cowards measure progress and distance in achievement. Blood boils through these fingers. That is all I need to know. Ah. I feel the fire raging inside. The storm has arrived. And I shall catch it with my bare hands. How did you meet? Are you going to tell us that? Persistent Omen. Divinity above, I wish you no ill will, but your defeat shall be evidence of my life's work. Bow recited, I ended the evening's meditation. Decades of such ascetic training had finally borne fruit. I had honed the eternal raid style to a godlike edge. But the long years had also revealed to me an enemy I could never defeat. Time itself. My inevitable demise meant there would be no more eternal raid style. I would need a disciple. Someone worthy of inheriting my technique. Of course, coal is not transformed into diamond so easily. It would be a fool's errand to find a successor who could survive the necessary time and rigor. Thus, when I finally met the captain, I was happy to be that fool. Now I could pass on my legacy. But the captain had another goal in mind, to reach Estelucia and reunite with dear old Papa. Filial piety was a respectable tenant, but it was no god-shattering fist. Despite my pleas, Failed to convince the captain to become my pupil. 
However, something must have resonated with the young master, because I received an invitation to join the Grand Cypher's crew. If I could not produce a scion of eternal rage, at least I would gain new allies. Walking aboard the airship, my fists buzzed. Ah! Oh, there would be something more to this meeting after all. Worthy Captain, I choose to fight by your side for the glory of the crew. For the glory of reaching Estalusia. And after we return, we shall discuss your future with the Eternal Raid style in earnest. He's found a worthy pupil then, but doesn't want to learn. Fists of Legend. You heard all the stories about the old man, right? I could hardly believe my ears. Ripping the Grim Basin apart with a single punch? Joining a war just so he could spar? And defeating both sides? Knocking over a whole mountain just from turning in his sleep? I call BS. And just like crap, there was probably a kernel of truth in there somewhere, but come on, who believes this stuff? <laughs> Turns out, idiots like me. See, I've actually witnessed Gondagoza smash a meteor into space dust. You think people will catch on to that story too? Of course they will. Why else do people go to the pub? Man's favorite pastime is recounting tales of people braver than themselves. But it's so hard to believe, and I saw him do the damn thing. So, yep, though the old master's legends were numerous, and honestly downright ridiculous, they were also the truth. What's crazier, Ganda would never toot his own horn. After crushing a dragon with a sneeze or what have you, he'd just say... Ugh. Yep, actions speak louder than words. That's a real man's man for you. You gotta admire that. What I would give for his rippling biceps, though. Looking back now, none of us could have known. There, in the Zeca Grande Skydom, Gondagoza was about to use those rippling biceps to start a whole brand new mythos. Okay, so why doesn't the captain want to learn this apart from going to Estalusia? Literally on the way. Sounds like it makes you insanely strong. A new legend is born. Sierra gave us the news. A lone brawler managed to stop a force of hundreds atop Mount Nagelith, all while quelling a raging blizzard with his bare hands? I'm not a betting man. Well, I'm not a drinking man, but, well, I'm not a man who bets when he drinks, but I put good money on our brawler being Gondagoza. It hadn't been that long since we sailed to Zega Grande, so the old badger must have been working overtime for word to spread so quick. I asked Sierra to spill the details. The force he scattered was a group of soldiers, remnants of the Church of Avia, and word was they were specialists in guerrilla warfare. Sure as hell, they were a fierce troop. How does an unarmed martial artist take them all out? Not that I could ask the master, because you know what he'd say. <laughs> but hey, who needs words when you got those defined shoulder blades doing the talking? Guess it was just one more legend for the books. I have a feeling this fade episode as a whole will be quite short, especially considering he does toot his own horn. Okay, one man army versus a boss. I'm guessing it's him on his own. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Right, well, of course, out of all the things that I've got, I've got his special sigil. The real question is, what is it called? The only reason I know I've got a special sigil is there was a trophy for having all of the special sigils. So, yes. That's a good way of figuring it out. Eternal Rage's Awakening is probably that one. Which is boost to Raging Fist damage cap. Isn't exactly, yeah. Uh, how much? 
50%, and boost to Raging Fist's critical hit rate. Effect strength is based on how much Eternal Rage gun the goals it has. Crit rate, hit, crit, critical hit rate, level of Eternal Rage times 10%. Does he just cap out his own crit? <laughs> Call for reinforcements! We need all the support we can get! Why is everyone from that crew a beast? What are they feeding them on that ship? It was a nightmare. Actually, worse. You could wake up from a nightmare. This was our reality. We were being driven into the heart of Mount Najaleth by a single Skyfarer. Even though he was alone, he was with the crew who defeated General Galanza. Our only chance was to put aside our pride and work together to take him down. Our platoon was experienced, and we could launch the prototype Tayuatar if things started looking rough. We had numbers and strategy on our side. With all of our preparations, victory should have been assured. But he took one look at our perfect formations and laughed. Ha 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 ha! You honor me with this extra treat. Ah, Gandagosa shall now return the favor with eternal rage! You what? This guy was nuts. All of these soldiers, and this was just a field exercise to them? Get your asses in gear! Do not break ranks! The command snapped my mind back into focus. I drew my sword, but as I clutched its hilt, I had never been more sure it was just a hunk of scrap metal. He's so ridiculous we're hearing about him from the enemies. Of eternal rage. Jolin Gandagosa, founder of the Eternal Rage Doll, believes he can accomplish anything with only the might of his fist. Any foe within his reach will be pulverized into dust. Press square repeatedly to perform combos. Really slow as well, look at it. Know that well time attacks are stronger than button mashing. Completing a combo raises his Eternal Rage. Power of his charged triangle attack increases based on how much Eternal Rage he has. He'll gradually lose Eternal Rage if it takes too long to inflict pain on a foe. <laughs> or you won't make it out of here alive. Roger. Bonk! <laughs> from so far away! <laughs> He's even got wind pressure that hits them too, by the way. <laughs> what the hell is this? There we go, there's a timing. Who is this guy? Could be the devil himself for all I care. Back up. We can't take him on our own. Step forward. I still need to finish my warm-up. <laughs> Let's say where are we going next? Come on, guys. He even dodged me. <laughs> Punch. Oh, there's more. My fish grow restless. Curse on luck. Oh, no, I'm being sliced slightly. From the clouds, break the, the door! Plan C! Your but, move. sir, he doesn't even have armor on! <laughs> Counter! Either we deploy our secret weapon, or he'll wipe us out! The ocean surges! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Don't tie you at all! Deliver us from this accursed giant! Hmm! I applaud your desire to continue fighting, but you insult me with these useless talks. Let's hope you took out the time. What? <laughs> I want all units deployed. Courage, troops. No one lives forever. With these fists, nothing is impossible. I feel it's better to actually be overleveled for this mission by the sound of the narrative. A monster! Commander, your orders! Commander? Commander dead. Behold. True ferocity!
It was a nightmare. Actually worse, you could wake up from a nightmare. This was our reality. Where are they? Bring me your champions! We were an entire platoon of pilgrims. We even deployed the Tayuitar. He wasn't even inconvenienced. Retreat! Retreat! My mind was cloudy. I barely heard the commander's order. How could I think? I saw it. I saw the force of his punches redirect the blizzard. He had to be a demon. No mortal could beat the damn weather into submission. Not to mention the lack of corpses. This battle had been brutal, but so far no one has sustained critical injuries. Which means he had been holding back. A man like this, he was as strong as General Galanza. No, stronger maybe. Finally, I gathered enough sense to unfreeze my feet and turn tail. As I ran away, I got the sense I had just witnessed history in the making. <laughs> what a weird character. <laughs> He's just OP! <laughs> Episode 5, here comes a new challenger! It's Galanza, probably. I will finally remember my splendid time atop Mount Natalie. Deadly blizzard pummeling my flesh, freezing cold stabbing my lungs, and swarms of monsters looking to turn me into a long overdue meal. These were already the perfect conditions for training, but sweet, generous fortune had even more in store. I crested a snowy knoll, and what should I see but the obvious crusaders setting up camp for their own war games. Follow the fist, or it shall lead to serendipity. Unfortunately, however, it seemed my newfound sparring partners were on a stricter schedule than I, as they took their leave before I could properly thank them. Bandagoza, a letter came for you. Hmm. Now this was a rare occurrence. It looks like it's from... Whoa, no way! Her mouth was agape. I peered down to read why. From Kalanza. The Silver Wolf Corps General. This would be intriguing. Could be a battle I lose. He's quite strong. Match made in heaven. To Master Gondagosa, distinguished practitioner of the Eternal Rain Star. Thank you for meeting my strongest force on the field of battle. They spoke highly of your ferocity. In fact, some suggest you may be stronger than me, which is why I demand a duel. If you are not a coward, meet me in front of Tradam's sanctuary, atop Mount Natalie. ASAP! I expect a death match as the skies have never seen before! Signed, the invincible and unparalleled general of the Silver Wolf Corps, Galanza! Short, sweet, to the point. Correspondence, Episode 7 Believe in Your Fists. during a fight with that man. What loving kids to spare their thoughts for me. But Galanza was a man of unparalleled battle acumen. I could not pass on such an opportunity. Call myself the greatest fighter in all the skies. I must best the greatest fighters in all the skies. The captain looked at me with trusting eyes. As if to say, go, noble warrior. This crew believes in the might of your god-shattering fists. 
Seeing the tacit acceptance of their commanding officer, Lyria and Vern finally relented. But they insisted on joining, in case the worst befell me. Their support was my tailwind. We left for the battlefield. Witness me, children. I shall fight the fight of rage! I guess it is going to be a one on one then. A jewel for the ages. <laughs> right, because I know the hits quite hard, I'm very tempted to just do this. Where is it? Yeah. Thank you very much. That, that'll help. Let's go. <laughs> check suddenly things had gone from tense to weird and tense now once again sky folk of all ages prepare yourselves for hey don't step on our gig there's already too many characters in this scene we'll do the commentating around here burn no we're not licensed to broadcast Never mind about our qualifications. Something more important was on the line. I want a clean fight. Now, believe in victory. Engage! We walk the path of eternal rage. Well, the the hey, I was starting to look back there. Who do you think has the upper hand here, Lyria? <laughs> Oh, what? Well, you just get to shock me out of all my stuff. And of course, that works twice. Is that bias on the mic? You know better than that, Raph. Take the sky! Getting stronger! Up here, you can't get me up there! Out of it. <laughs> 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 
Oh, I'm out of the way, yeah. You can have that, it's fine. Oh, you dick. That's my turn. I would expect nothing less of a living legend. Your flattery is appreciated. Now come at me with everything you've got. Everything. Don't mind if I do. I'm not tired, then I see. What if I do this? <laughs> Okay, I may have not. I could have probably pressed camera on that as well now that I look at it. The trading. So full combo gets you full rage. Has he done it? Gondagoza? I can't look! Belongs to me. Gondagosa and Galanza were going all out. They were like warring primals, blasting each other with crazy techniques. Finally, when the dust had settled... The last man standing is Gondagosa! Let's hear it for those furious fists of legend, ladies and gents! Megapops pulled off the victory, though Galanza was no slouch either. Simply put, the stronger man took the match. Boy, I wish I were ripped like Gonda. If I had his muscles, I bet I could have stopped that whole Avia mess in two seconds flat. Oops, where was I? Right! Megapops had done it again. He'd proven himself in the ring and taken out one of Biscuitum's best fighters. Score one more for the Eternal Rage Legacy. I couldn't wait to get back and tell Rackham and Oigan the good news. They were basically gone to Storians by now, and this would be one more legend for their repertoire. Right then, let's see the last two episodes. As the legend continues, the fifth lease in Nirvana. Did Vern tell you what Oganda's been up to lately? Fighting off a hundred soldiers? Okay, sure. He's got chops. Pushing back a blizzard? Uh, I'll buy it. He's got elemental attunement out the wazoo, but taking out Galanza in a death match? <laughs> Sounds like we're all losing our marbles now. And what's this about their fight being so ferocious that carved out a new valley through Mount Nazalith? Has anyone verified that? And turning the island upside down? Come on, people. Gonda, folks are starting to take your stories a little too far. That or you're doing way too much, and I really hope it's the former. Ah, what am I saying? If you ever stop your crazy exploits, I'll eat my helmsman's license. <laughs> yep, that stoic silence explained it all. For some, an unbelievable legacy might be too heavy to bear, but I doubt there's anything those broad shoulders couldn't lift. All of his stories have proven true so far. Maybe, just maybe, he really would sock it to a god one day. I'd have to assume during the gacha, he probably already has. The man, the myth, the fan art. <laughs> what? I get to read it first, Oigan. I bought the damn thing. Over my dead body. 
I was just getting to the good part. Yeah. Take that. Fist of the Red Lotus. My fellow crewmates stood around a wall scroll. Fascinating. Rackham procured it from Seed Hollow, I gathered. But wait, had Eugen not just vocalized and then improperly executed one of my techniques? Bizarre! While Eugen and Rackham were distracted by their noble bickering, Lyria brought the scroll over. When she flicked it open, my breath caught. Is that me? Is that supposed to be me? My likeness, stylized and somehow prettier, was punching back a blizzard in an illogical way. Don't these petty painters know that one must channel the ferocity of the storm to beat the storm? Someone asked an artist to paint your story. Look how great it turned out. I had to admit, they did a decent job of capturing the majesty of my maid, even if it were a bit too bushy. <laughs> I could not help but laugh. All the places my fists had taken me, this was the first where I had encountered my own facsimile. Though I hadn't bothered to tell anyone of my training on Mount Natalith, perhaps I should be more vocal in the future. If not only to add more fan art to my widening legends, what joy that would spread! Ha 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 ha! I take it there's a lot of fan art about this guy then, I don't know. The Roaring Fist Ink on Parchment. Oh, we, can we look at it? Can we see the glory? So I don't know. So long. so long indeed. One more crewmate to add. One more archive to get. I am Gandagoza, the unrivaled master of eternal rage. His proclamation reverberated across three skydoms and over seven mountain ranges, signaling the rise of a battle fury the world has never seen. No one can survive my fist of the red lotus. Now you know of the legend. Sure. I take it we do. I'll just claim some rewards for the things we've been doing lately and uh, continue our questing then, I guess. It was a weird one, but I appreciate it. So, I'm guessing my, uh... Is that Kappa thingy? Because I don't think there's another number there. Uh, I'm just going to quickly... I don't think I've overmastered these guys. Oh, I did overmaster you. It's terrible. Uh, did I overmaster you? Uh, that's... Better-ish? But I have not overmastered you. So we'll get you some stuff, uh... Great rivers take longer. To I'll go again, just in case. Maybe I'll get something good. I've improved. I mean, you may as well take something over what I had, which was nothing. It's not a bad idea just to take something. And your one seems to be kind of terrible. Can't roll the same as I did thingy. I'll, I'll take that for now. More attack power. Health and healing cap isn't needed. Stun power instead and chain burst damage up. Instead of skill damage cap up. I've come a long way, huh? Sure. Just cut a little bit of that stuff off as we now move into okay. another quest. This one? Right. So how deep and proud are we now? Quite a lot of quests completed. We skipped over a couple to find out what one of those guys was like, but now I guess it's time for Managam Nihila. Could you tell me more about your fight with Managam Nihila? They say it was just as fearsome as when you fought General Galanza. I'm writing a book about his feats, you see, so this would be an enormous help. Could you recount the battle for me? We're counting on you. I'm scared to. Last guy was wrecking me. The fact that 41k HP doesn't seem to uh, cover an attack on Fury K to Hiller. I had 50k HP, so I took off that Aegis thing. Hey, you can't just disappear! Let's go. Come on, shall we? Yeah. 
Great teamwork. Yes. Let us press on. It was a monster. Nice glacier. Beautiful. Right, free 10% damage more or less. I'm under attack. Hello. It doesn't attack you? Oh, it does blight waves? Wouldn't surprise me if I'm within a damage kill range now. So everything in here radiates blight. Can't just move when I'm doing that kind of thing to you. Even if it is a little scary. No place to Oh, I just got really close. Is that bad? Oh, there's two of him now. Wait, where have you gone? Hey, guys, we need to, like, kind of, like, make it behind one of these things. Oh, you're a fake. Right? Oh, shoot. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to see if it was a fake or not, but it shot the thing that was next to me, and it doesn't even work the same way. Okay. Well, I took myself down like a blooming idiot. So you're still doing some trusty stuff then. I'll top up the rest of my health. Oh, I thought I was going to escape that. That should break the overdrive. Let's do it. <laughs> I've had practice fighting with flame wounds. You're shattered, but you're in rage mode, so I need to probably leave. Different moves. Literally is learning a new boss when you think about it, even though this is the second time. Oh, hello. Oh, the stupid thing's here. And I've been attacked. You know what? I'll just do it this way. I won't use my potion this time. Everyone else dodge. Good. I'm assuming that's what you're doing now. Kinda need to take out the small things first. <laughs> Nearly very bad. Let us turn up the pressure. Got it. Stick close behind me. Well done. Oh man. <laughs> While I was taking out the other one, doing another move, it's just a bead. How much can I take in this time frame? Feel the flame. Solid roll. Open it wonder. Poison. Yes, 
Oh, he just bounced up when I went for him. Okay, we managed to break him. Paralyzed too, but there's so much flinching of the enemy that I'm not getting to continue my bounces. We might be only 10% away, but we still got to survive this again. Oh, come on. He just took out everyone. Hopefully I got rid of some more of these things. Well, that should finish it. Phew. Yes, these Nilla fights, I do not have any grasp of, really. Of course, that just means I know that we're going to be fighting Nihilum at Bulk and Bola next. That sounds fun. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> Nihilo Horn of Disdain. Managam Nihilo Core. Could have hate re be in a tyranny, B. Plus. That's uh, actually not a bad get, depending what the secondary <sighs> sub slots are. Great hustle, guys. Only an S. Yeah, we all went down at the same point, so reaching the other thing. First clear reward was a break assassin V. So, uh, attack resistance down and precise wrath. Eh. New quests available. Memories of fire. Let me guess who that might be. <laughs> Is it Vulcan Bola by any chance? Got the goods? Let's see. My god, I'm doing one curio time because I just want it so badly now. Never getting it. It's never happening. Give me war elemental. This one? 